You can give us a call at 870-575-UAPB or 870-575-8272 or you can hit us up on Twitter at UAPB Lions Roar. This past Saturday, the Golden Lions dropped a 56-6 decision to Alcorn State at Jack Spinks Marino Castle Stadium in Alcorn State, Mississippi. This week, UAPB will host Alabama A&M in their final game of the season at Golden Lions Stadium in a 2.30 p.m. start. This will be the 19th meeting between UAPB and Alabama A&M, with the Bulldogs currently leading the series 14-5. At this time, we ask the players to introduce themselves. Mr. Anderson? Uh, ben Anderson, quarterback, Little Rock. All right, at this time, we ask for opening comments from Mr. Anderson. Talk about last week's game against Alcorn State, then talk a little bit about playing Alabama A&M this week. Uh, last week was a tough loss. Uh, Alcorn State played a good game. Uh, they were a good team, but we made a lot of mistakes, uh, turned the ball over, uh, missed assignments. But uh, uh, we just got to come back for the last game, uh, last game of my college career. So. Uh, got a lot to play for. All right, at this time, we have opening comments from the top dog himself, head coach Monty Coleman. Well, once again, I want to thank everyone for coming out to the uh, press conference. I want to thank Tony here at the Little Steakhouse for hosting us once again. Uh, very disappointing uh, week last week, of course, uh, with the loss to Alcorn. Uh, I concur with, with Ben. Alcorn's a very good football team. Uh, they clinched the West uh, two weeks ago, excuse me, the East two weeks ago, and we knew it was going to be a hard, hard battle. Uh, watching them on film, just like watching all the other swag schools that we've played so far this year, I, I, I was optimistic going into the game, uh, thinking that we did have a chance. All we had to do is not make mistakes and play the kind of football that we did play uh, in the three wins that we do have. Unfortunately for us, uh, we, we, we made the mistakes. Uh, we, we, we lost a giveaway takeaway uh, the week before against Prairie View. We actually took the ball away and, and didn't take it away this game. And unfortunately, we did turn it over a couple, two or three times. And in, anytime you, you do that, uh, it's an a ingredient for a disaster. And uh, I, I really think that uh, it wasn't necessarily what Alcorn did, but what we did. Um, Alcorn's a good football team. I, I, I think I've said that they're a very good football team. But uh, right now, where we are, uh, the thing that keeps me optimistic uh, with where we are as a football team is I don't see our team quitting. Even though we, we've given up large margins as far as the score, uh, I don't see guys quitting. Uh, they're continuing to play hard until the game is over. And that's, that's, that's a good sign for us as coaches that we don't have a bunch of quitters on our team, regardless of what the circumstances are. Uh, we are hosting Alabama A&M this weekend. It's our senior night. Uh, we'll say farewell uh, to a lot of great football players, uh, Ben Anderson uh, being one of them. Um, you know, just a little about Ben from his freshman year to now and how difficult it will be to say uh, goodbye on, on Saturday. Uh, I watched this young man mature and play well and lead us as, as a quarterback, lead us as a football player on and off the field. Uh, he's taken us to the, the uh, championship game. Uh, he's won a championship, and um, uh, he, he's had numerous accolades thrown his way. So, you know, it's going to be some, uh, some emotions flying on, on Saturday uh, afternoon when we, we host Alabama a &M. Uh, when we say farewell to eight of our seniors, uh, Ben Anderson being one, Mikhail Carter, um, uh, C.J. Branch, guys who, who's been the backbone of this team for the last four or five years. So uh, we, we definitely want to play well. We definitely want to uh, uh, send these guys out with a, with a victory, their last game in a Golden Lion uniform. And I think we will, you know. Uh, it's my tradition to start all the seniors. Um, right now, they own, the, all of the seniors are either on special teams or offense. We have no seniors on defense. And right now, all the seniors that we have will play and have played uh, this week. So 
uh, it's going to be an exciting game for us. Uh, I think because of the last game and because of this senior night, I think we're going to get the best uh, from Alabama A&M, and I can assure you that you will get the best from the Golden Lions this weekend. So we're looking forward to this weekend and um, sending our seniors out with a bang. All right, we open up for Q&A. If you have any questions for Coach Coleman or the players, you can give us a call at 870-575-UAPB or 870-575-8272, or you can hit us up on Twitter at UAPB Lions Roar. If you have any questions for Coach, we ask that you be, raise your hand to be recognized and step forward. Yes, Mr. Morrell. Uh, ben, I hadn't uh, updated my count yet, and I hadn't looked at the updated count, but it uh, looks like you're not going to, unless you have a really good game against uh, Alabama a and you're not going to break the 10,000-yard passing mark. Is that something uh, that in any way bothers you? Uh, you know, it, it won't really eat at me because, you know, uh, just to be on the list, uh, you know, to see the list and see who all his names are on there, so just to even be listed with them, you know, that's an honor in itself. You know, of course, I would have liked to hit 10,000, but, uh, you know, I'm – uh, I wouldn't say satisfied, but it won't. It's not something that'll haunt me. What What is this? Uh, what is this week uh, gonna be like? Just preparing for your last game. I mean, you've been through forty something games right now, but uh, this one I know is gonna be a lot different from the others. Uh, honestly, it's just been reminiscing. Uh, last couple of away games, especially Alcorn State, I could, you know just walking on the field uh, pregame, I could. You know, see instances from 2012, you know, uh, I could see plays folding out on the field as I walked the field, you know. So this week, you know, I'll probably just be remembering stuff from, you know, 2011. You know, I, I was looking on Facebook and stuff uh, the other day, looking at old pictures, playing with James Harrell and uh, people like that. So, you know, it'll, it'll just be remembering and uh, – up until Saturday and uh, just trying to uh, leave it all on the field Saturday. Here's an interesting stat, or maybe not that interesting, but uh, you haven't beaten Alabama A&M yeah. uh, in your career. So uh, that, th that's that got to be programmed in your mind somewhere. Yeah, uh, I definitely remind Coach Jones of it all the time. You know, he uh, he uh, <laughs> he always kid me and uh, got a joke for me on why we never beat him. But, uh, yeah, I, I, it's, it's in my head, you know, I never beat him. I remember my red shirt year, uh, Desmond Beverly took the game when he touched down to the house. But I, like I said, I wasn't playing. But that was the last time we beat him. So, okay, yeah, yeah. it's definitely on my plate to beat him this Saturday. Speaking of Coach Jones, and uh, I had a chance to speak with him yesterday. And I'll ask you this. I'll ask Coach Coleman this. But in the past six weeks, uh, you know, and Coach Coleman said it about five or six weeks ago, Coach uh, Jones is just uh, the consummate pro. And obviously, uh, you know, the good memories of, uh, you know, his late son carries him day by day. Uh, you know, what from Coach Jones has really inspired you these past six weeks, uh, you know, him being able to continue to do his work, continue to, to mold this offense? Uh, really, it just spoke to me as a man, as a human, you know. Uh, we didn't expect him to come back at all, but, you know, first, one of the first things he said was, uh, I have a job to do, mm -hmm. and uh, I can't let y'all down. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, personally, that just struck a chord in me to, you know, personally give him my best every week, regardless of what the score is or what the situation, you know. So uh, uh, my prayers went out to his family. You know, I had met him, so, you know, at, right. at, you know it kind of hurt me then, too. But, uh, you know, I, I had the utmost respect for Coach Jones. He has a lot of wisdom. Uh, a lot of knowledge. Uh, anytime I talk to him, I try to be all ears and try not to talk as much and just listen because uh, he, he, he knows a lot about football. And, I mean, uh, he knows a lot about life, just uh, about, like a lot of my coaches do. But, um, you know, I, I have a lot of respect for him for coming back and finishing his job. Coach Coleman? I have to just reiterate, you know, the, the uh, professionalism that Coach Jones has. Um, you know, I, I really didn't ex – I expected him to come back, but not as soon as he did. Uh, but being the professional that he is, uh, knowing the, the, the task that was in, at hand, uh, even doing the, the – probably one of the toughest, if not the toughest time in his life, um, 
just show you know his dedication, uh, his commitment to to uh, the team and to his his professional uh, as a coach. Um, he he inspired all of us and still do. Um, you know, yeah, it, it it stuck with me that. You know, in 2012, he was the only SWAC school that we lost to. Uh, 2011, uh, you know, we lost to him. Uh, we had had a great battle, and they came back to beat us. So, you know, he, he's he's a great coach. He's a great coach. I've admired him from a distance. I've enjoyed playing against him, of course, when he was at Alabama A&M. I uh, didn't like the results, of course, but um, I, I did enjoy playing against him. And, uh, you know, he and I go back a long ways because we did play uh, with the Redskins together. He was an 11th round draft pick, uh, and I also was 11th round draft pick. So uh, we kind of bonded and did things together um, when we were with the Redskins. So I have a lot of respect for Coach Jones, and he's, he's doing an outstanding job for us. All right, we have a question. Uh, yes, I, I just. Uh, want to ask the uh, uh, young man, of, uh, how have you enjoyed being here at the university and under the leadership of the young coach? Uh, well, it's uh, been the best five years of my life, you know, college. Uh, great memories. Uh, uh, playing football here, for being able to start for four years, uh, I'm, I'm very thankful for the opportunity. I thank Coach Coleman for opportunity to allow on a red shirt freshman to start and uh you know being patient with me uh keeping me in all 11 games mistakes and all uh, the grooming process you know he, he stuck with me through the bumps and bruises and uh you know uh i just uh it's hard to see it come to an end but you know it has to you know just as anything in life uh and i wish nothing but the best for uh, them next year hope that uh, some of the younger guys, I hope that I said something to them to make them want to do better next year. Uh, that's that's my biggest uh, thing right now is trying to leave the younger guys with something to work for, to, you know, uh, something that they, they can remember I said that will help them be better than they were this year. So uh, it's uh, bittersweet, but, you know, everything has come to an end. So You know, we, we, were, we recruited Ben. Ben came to our, our – uh, kids camp or the Monty Coleman's kid camp one summer and uh, we watched him his footwork his throwing ability and um, I offered him a scholarship that day I called him to my office and offered him a scholarship and that's when the recruiting process actually started so uh, you know for him to come it was kind of a no-brainer once he he committed to us we knew that he had the potential to be a great quarterback for us and uh, the rest is history. He, he came in and, and have played extremely well. I mentioned a minute ago, he actually, you know, during my tenure as head coach, uh, have t he took us to the championship game, which we went in 2006 under Coach Forte's leadership. But we went in 2012 uh, as a head coach, and uh, Ben, he won it for us. And uh, so, you know, I've got nothing but great respect for him, uh, how he's persevered. Uh, through the years because it hadn't been easy. We've had, he's had, what, three, four uh, offensive coordinators. Um, uh, it, it's, you know, numerous of players have come and gone. Some have been good, some have been bad. Uh, but, you know, through it all, he, he stuck in there and he did what he do, it's play football, play quarterback, and he's done it well. So, you know, uh, it, it's not over yet, but I'll just say we, we're going to miss him. We'll definitely miss him. And uh, I'm hoping that some of the things that he's done with some of the, the, the other quarterbacks behind him will have rubbed off on them so they can have a little Ben Anderson uh, attributes on the field uh, in years to come. All right. And I just want to commend you for being such a great student athlete. Yeah. You know, I know that's one thing that Coach Colton stresses. You want to make sure that you're a student first and then the athlete. And Coach Colton, we have to commend you for doing such a great job in teaching these young men and molding them into being great citizens. Thank you very much. All right, we have a question in for Mr. Bubba Pettigrew. Uh, how much will it help next year having to play so many underclassmen this year? 
That's, that's a great question. It's, it's something that I've alluded to uh, each week uh, with IC and I interviews uh, with the Pine Bluff Commercial and also with the SWAC uh, teleconference that we have on Mondays. Uh, I, I think it's going to help our football tremendously um, next year because we are playing so many young guys, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, they're getting something that you really can't teach. Uh, you have to go through it, and that's experience. And each one of those guys, the safeties, uh, the defensive line, uh, all of those guys are getting valuable swack hours right now. And I think it's going to make a huge, huge difference in our football team next year. Um, you know, as, as a stat or as, as a suggestion, we, we've got two, maybe three guys on the defensive side of the ball that played any for us last year. And, uh, you know, that's, that's huge to have uh, so many young guys. So, you know, I, I, I really believe with the recruiting class that we'll have this year, along with uh, the, the youth that we've got playing this year, um, the recruiting class for next year, along with the guys that we've got playing right now, the young guys, uh, it, it can only be positive for us. You know, we as coaches, we hate to look ahead we want instantaneous wins, and um, you know sometimes you have to go through growing pains. You know, I look back at Gremlin right now, and and look at the two years they went through to be where they are right now, with the possibility of, of winning the West, uh, which I think is going to boil down between them and and Southern, of course, in the Bayou Classic. Whoever wins that game will probably go to the championship game. But but uh, they had two years of of uh, heartache. And right now they're, they're doing extremely well. So, you know, you hate hate to be in the valley, uh, but sometimes that's where you really learn the most is when you're in the valley. And as we start to climb up, I think next year, because of the youth that we have, it's going to help us out a whole lot. All right. Are there any more questions for Coach or the players? Uh, I have uh, watched play for the last four years. And as I tell you, there every week. You're a Sunday player. Coach, does Dan uh, have the ability to play on Sundays? Yes, sir. And, and I, I say that with a lot of confidence because there's been several pro scouts that's come through uh, UAPB uh, to see him, to see Mikael Carter, and also uh, uh, Isaiah Ferguson. So he's being recruited uh, by, by the scouts. Uh, they have not indicated if he will be drafted. But the, the thing that I, I let the guys know on the team, it doesn't matter uh, if you're drafted or if you're a free agent. The hardest thing about pro football is getting in. And if you can get in, which I think he has the potential of getting in and probably will get an, an opportunity to get in, then you do what you do, and that's play football. So uh, to answer your question, I, yes, sir, I think he could be a, a, a very good Sunday player. Chicago needs your help. I hope I see you in Chicago next year. I hope so, too. <laughs> All right. Any more questions for Coach or Ben? Uh, huh? Well, I'd just like to say uh, uh, I've actually grown up uh, watching going to UAPV games. I can remember when UAPV actually – they home games were War Memorial Stadium. So, uh, you know, I kind of always knew, you know, growing up I wanted to play for UAP. I wanted to be a Golden Lion. So, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a dream come true. So, uh, you know, I, I don't have any, uh, any bad points. You know, everything happens for a reason, speaking of last year and my senior, and this year. But, uh, you know, anytime I think of 2012, you know, that's the best feeling I've ever had in life, you know. Uh, it's nothing that uh, I can think of up to now that uh, has made me feel that good. So uh, the accomplishments I've made, the people I've met, uh, the people that helped me along the way in, on the field and off the field in the classroom, professors, uh, Dr. Eddings, uh, Dr. Lynch, you know, just to name a few. Uh, I appreciate all of them. Uh, appreciate Coach Coleman. Uh, fans in the stands that were there every weekend, even when we were getting blown out, you know. Uh, I appreciate everybody, uh, Miss Coleman, supporting us. Uh, I've enjoyed it. Uh, thank you everybody for their support. Another thing I think, uh, recruitment wise, as far as recruiting students uh, to come to this great university, uh, 
I would like to see you participate in the recruitment area, also traveling throughout this, this great state, letting our students know your feeling about UAPD. I did, uh, well, I definitely do in my high school. Uh, we, you know, it's about two come from my high school every year, Parkview High School and Little Rock. So uh, I, I do what I can in my city. I try to tell uh, all my cousins to play in. Even if they don't play, even if they just go to school, just go to UAPB. It's a good experience. You, you're right down the street from home. So, you know, I love my university. I, I had nothing bad to say about it uh, at all. So I definitely will. I, I definitely keep that in mind. Yeah, I'll see you in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> see, and with him, if it, and we're hoping that, you know, he does get a, an opportunity to go on to the next level, him and all the other guys on the team, for that matter, um, that we named. And my, my only thing uh, uh, with, with him is make sure that they send money. <laughs> you know, they need to send some money back to it. But uh, that, that would be great. You know, just on the air, uh, I, I won't get another opportunity just to say thanks to Ben. Uh, he, he's been he's been great for our university. He's been uh, um, definitely uh, an ambassador for the university. He's been an ambassador for the athletic department. Uh, he's done some things for us as a football team that you know without him I'm not sure. Uh, so you know just on behalf of the coaches and all the players that's come through here, even coaches that's come through and gone. I just want to say thank you, Ben Anderson, for, for being a great Golden Lion. All right. If there are no any more questions for Coach or Ben, we'd like to thank you for coming out and having lunch with us today. Just a reminder, Golden Lions fans, your 2014-2015 basketball season tickets are currently on sale. For more information, contact the UAPB ticket office at 870 575-8601. Also, your Lady Lions will tip off in their home opener against Philander Smith this Thursday night, November 20th, and a 6 p.m. start. And then on Saturday, your Lady Lions will host Talladega College in a 7 p.m. start with both contests slated for the H.O. Clemens Arena. All right, let's give Mr. Tony Dowell a round of applause. Excuse me, applause for letting us come out today. All right, once again, thank you for coming out. Until we meet again, keep those calls, emails, Twitter alerts coming in, and have a wonderful Golden Lion Day.